Now we are working with relative clauses of time. The relative clauses or a clause is a complete sentence. Over here I have Mother's Day is a day, then Mother's Day is my subject, is is my verb, and a day is my complement. Then I have this word that joins two sentences. I have over here once again my kids, subject, make, verb, and pancakes for me, complement. As you see, we have two sentences. So the full sentence is a closed, joined by when. In this case, relating to time. February the 14th, this is the subject, is the verb and the day is the complement. When is the um, word that joined the two clauses, the two sentences, and then subject, verb, and all of this is the complement. Once again over here, a New Year's Eve is the subject, verb, complement. The joining word, subject, verb, and complement. Two complete sentences. In this case, we have examples and the instruction says, uh, how much do you know about these times? Complete the sentences in column A with information from column B. Then compare with a partner. And the number one, Mother's Day is a day. Remember the sandwich technique. I have mother and then over here mothers. Then logically it is this way. B, Mother's Day is a day when people celebrate that mothers. Once again, subject, Mother's Day is the verb in the complement a day. We use when to join and over here we have once again subject, verb, in complement, the full part. In the number two, New Year's Eve is a night when, and in this case, we have the letter F, people have parties with families and friends. Once again, the complete sentence, subject, verb, complement, and over here also, subject, verb, and all of this is complement. Uh, as you notice, the first one is just giving us an idea, and the second is making that idea strong, uh, stronger. Sorry. In this case, we have April, uh, April Fools. Uh, day is a day when, and in this case, we have some pe uh, people sometimes play tricks on friends. So this is letter A. Okay, and then complete uh, the rest of the exercise, but always pay attention that you have the sentence number one, when, and then the sentence number two.